GTA Killer 15 here, and this is my old Trans City Line route. This is the last update of this route. This project has been discontinued due to um, technical problems, so this has been discontinued. So this is the last update of what's going to be left. Not much has really happened except for crossing changes. I'm just gonna switch hands. Okay. We got this new crossing here from Line Out Kid. I had it from a while back, but the problem is it's all white. The lights show only in the dark. That's better, in the dark. And down here, I got a surprise for Line Out Kid. He kept complaining about trying the wigwags he sent me. So what happened? They just randomly started working yesterday. This wigwag here is the harp wigwag. One thing about it that's cool about it is this. If I can click it. You can set how long, what pattern, gate delay, bell mode, bell duration, off, off delay, And that's other stuff for only the wigwags, only on parent, unfortunately. Tried it on this crossing here, and here's another one of the first one I show you. Showed you. And there's one more up here. Uh, we'll go over to the hill. And we'll find another wigwag. Version 2. With the same properties. Two tracks. I put a bell delay on that one. Which means the bell will only ring when the wigwag starts swinging for five seconds and then will stop ringing for the rest of the wing. Same crossing as the first one, just one track. Been doing a lot of track work too. I think that's all new to you. That five lit five tracks passenger station. Hold on, I gotta rename this. Okay. Uh, five passing tracks, passenger track, and then the three freight lines that trains can, freight trains can pass passenger trains instead of waiting. Here I just added U.S. crossing tires because these lights here do not work, only the gates. So I just added those lights to make it look good. These were here for quite a while. The only real difference I did to Union Station was just put signals. That's the only real difference. Same thing on the other side, signals. What is going to probably try be attempted is I have a little branch offline here. Grade crossing, put some uh, US crossing towers on it and see if it works nicely. Um, main line here has been changed a lot. Before it was just this way. Now it's there's actually split offs. Little X cross off so one can go that way and the other way will go that way. Same thing for here, that way and that way. This main line I just added. New and it looks better too. Instead of having trains waiting for one train to clear or one train going that way, you have the option to go that way or you can go that way now. Before it was just one track up to here, now I split it and made it into two. So it's a bit, there's a bit more stopping distance for trains now. I'm just trying to see if I can find my last collection update. My last update.
here, there used to be just lights here and no gate. Now I just put a wigwag system here. The only reason there's a gate here is because this is a main line too. All where the gates are are main lines, and here traffic does not stop, so I'm probably going to put another crossing here. One of the problems I have with this track line here is track number two. This trigger is perfect. It is in a good spot, same with this one. The funniest thing is, only the first this track's trigger will activate this crossing at the right time. And same with this crossing. But if I run a train in reverse, that crossing will not activate until it starts right right here to the signal. And same same other story for this crossing. It will not activate until it hits the signal. So basically, I'll have to slow the train down completely to just get the crossings activated. Let's undoing that. I just added a trap marker just to see if anything will happen, but chances are probably not. And that's the collection update. Uh, this is the, up the root update for the last time. Hope you enjoyed it, YouTubers. GTA Killer 15, you're signing out. Peace.